Uh, I'll explain why. In 2005, I left my day job as a software designer to write music full time. Nobody was paying me to do this. Oh, thank you. Yes. You use my software? Excellent. Good. <laughs> Um, and uh, nobody was paying me to do this, so I decided to pretend that I had a job doing it. Uh, and every Friday, I would, I would uh, every week, I would record a new song and put it out on my website uh, on, on Fridays. I called this thing a week. I did it for a whole year. Um, and uh, I had about four ideas, unfortunately, and I used them up in weeks one, two, three, and four. And then it got sort of interesting and weird. Frequently, I would have to uh, finish a song that I thought was a pretty stupid song. Because uh, it was the only idea I had. And this is one of those songs. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> to you. Uh, but I actually like this song quite a bit now, but uh, when I was writing it, I was like, this is stupid, this doesn't make any sense. It's about, it's about pants, it's about a guy named Mr. Fancy Pants. <laughs> it's some sort of contest and some sort of parade, and he always wins, but you're his nemesis and you hate him. I don't know why, and then you defeat him. And then he's very sad, and that's the end. What does that mean? Who knows? I don't know what it means. Nothing. Pants are involved, though, and pants is kind of a funny word, so... I guess it works. Anyway, the point is, I had to buy this device so that I could distract audiences from the song. So if you find yourself actually listening to the song, just focus on this instead, and I think we'll, we'll all have a better experience, okay? <laughs> this is called Mr. Fancy Pants. Doesn't even have the best pants. Say a little prayer. 